fiddle and tighten up the bow. Okay, so issue number 38 opens up with Angel, who is being beaten up and tortured by the Twilight Monster. And so basically, he says, did you really think it was going to be all this easy? And Angel's like, this really hasn't been easy. And Twilight says, well, it was really easy for you to abandon me. He says, Buffy rejected me because, you know, there was no conflict in Twilight. She thrives on this pain and chaos and conflict, and she felt she needs to come back here and fight instead of just being happy with me. Well, that's not cool. She may have started this by creating the army of slayers, but you and I, we're going to finish it. And basically, Twilight is trying to fight off Angel, and Angel's trying to fight off Twilight, and he says, there will be no Twilight. And Twilight says, it's already here, and it's you, Father. And so we leave Angel and Twilight, and the thing about it is when we leave them, like, the Twilight monster had been all glowy up in the front abouts here-ish. And, yeah, it's just looking scary because he's got Angel pinned down. And so, what's up with the Master? Well, the Master is the Seed's protector. Uh, about 800 years or so, uh, the Seed basically chose the Master, a powerful vampire, to be its sworn protector. And so... When, uh, when Twilight kind of chose Angelus, the seed, as a reaction to, you know, this threat out there in the world, basically what it did was it revivified the master, you know, because Buffy had killed him. Well, it basically, the master tells us that the seed, life and death mean nothing to it. And so it just kind of remade the master in order to protect itself from these other forces out there in the world. And so basically what we kind of decide is that the reason the Master's face is all super bat-like isn't necessarily because he's lived long enough to escape the visage of being human, but because of his exposure to the Seed of Wonder. He thinks that Buffy has come down to the Seed to remove it and to make Twilight happen, because that's like her goal in the universe, right? But she says, no, 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 we're actually trying to protect the seed. You don't know what's going on. We are here to basically help you. And so there's this whole big battle going on up in Craterdale because the Twilight Demons are pouring in to try and get to the seed in order to, you know, get it out and create chaos on Earth so the Twilight can thrive. And so Dawn is looking at all the good stuff and she says oh, well, the battle's not going very well up there, it looks like. And, oh shit, the Twilight Demons are down there with them. And so they knock the fuck out of Dawn and just send her flying because they just want the Seed of Wonder. And so Dawn gets knocked out, her head is like, oh my gosh. And then, yeah, Xander's freaking. Buffy, Spike, Willow, and Giles all, like, fling into action. And they take down the Twilight Demons. Well, then Xander, you know, he is scooped up Dawn and she's like really hurt. And so basically, Buffy tells Xander to take Dawn up to the surface and get her away from all of this fighting. So then Buffy, she decides that she's just going to kill the Master. She doesn't trust him, all this good stuff. She breaks off a stake and goes after him. But Willow says, 
No, 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 no. Wait, because the master, he is a sworn protector of the seed. He's bound to the seed. And he, just like all the other things in our reality, doesn't want for Twilight to take hold and for our reality to be wiped out. And so we have to play nice with the master. And Buffy's like, no, that's not cool. That's not what we do. We don't play with vampires. And Giles basically says, well, you know, this whole season eight, we teamed up with Dracula, and I really don't see how this is much different from that. And so Buffy goes, he's a monster, and he killed me. And basically Willow just says, yeah, okay, now get over it, because we've got to team up. And she says that if she can actually tap into the seed's power then maybe she can stop Twilight from getting into our world. Willow believes that by getting the Seed of Wonder and using its magics to, you know, basically balance out the different forces of magic that are at work, she can solve this problem. And we're all kind of hoping that she does. And so the Master leads us to the Seed of Wonder, and it's in this chamber that you should recognize. And it's at this point that we need to go back to, um, what are we in, number 10, Anywhere But Here. Now in Anywhere But Here, uh, Willow and Buffy had gone to the Lair of Sephrillion and they were kind of drifting through memories and then through time. And we had this moment where they saw Buffy and she had been all beaten up and she was on the floor and Buffy says, what happens to me here? And Robin says that it's betrayal, the closest, the most unexpected. And look at where they are. They are in the chamber that Buffy and Willow and Giles and Spike just walked into. There's the Seed of Wonder, but here in this kind of image of a possible future, it is broken. But they are definitely in that chamber, and more importantly, Buffy is wearing the clothes that she's wearing right now. And so things are about to get pretty fucking scary. The Master is talking about how the Seed embraces the world and it's not going to let go, and he just, like, throws Buffy down because he's convinced that Buffy is a threat to the Seed. So Giles goes to try and kill the Master, but the shit of it is Willow says, no, you can't. Like, when Buffy gets around the Seed of Wonder, her powers are diminished, and she basically is powerless around the source of her power, if that makes sense. And so, the Master, like, keeps Buffy off of him, and basically, Willow says, Hey, everybody, think for a second, we have to work together. Buffy, your superpowers don't work down here, so you need to go upstairs and be on the main fight so that you can actually be of some good. And so... Willow stays down at the Seed with the Master to try and figure out how the magics of the Seed of Wonder actually work. And Buffy and Giles head up to the surface. And basically, they talk about how Twilight and the Seed of Wonder, Giles didn't really know that the Seed was real until, like, Twilight started happening. And the reason that the Seed of Wonder is in Sunnydale is basically... Like, the Hellmouth and everything was protecting the Seed of Wonder from ever being tampered with because, um, yeah, like, basically, you know, all kind of demon energies are drawn toward the Hellmouth, and so this was actually just a, another way to hide the Seed of Wonder because you can only go so far into the Hellmouth before you get totally died, right? So this whole time, like, throughout the issue, we're seeing Angel, and he's being, like, brainwashed or something. We really don't know what the what is until the very, like, last time we see Angel and the Twilight Monster together. So basically, yes, the Twilight Monster has uh, brainwashed and more or less possessed Angel, and it sends him off to do its bidding. So up on Spike's spaceship, uh, the bugs that work for Spike, sort of, they can't believe that they've been working for Spike when this whole time Spike's just been working for another Queen Bee, as far as they see it, uh, talking about Buffy, about how he just takes orders from Buffy. And so Warren, Amy, and the General are still on the bug ship, but apparently Willow's magics that kept them under control or whatever had uh, kind of dissolved away while she was down working with the Seed of Wonder. And so the General guy kills one of the bugs, and Amy goes to try and, like, 
heal the general and he says get your fucking hands off of me if i never see you two again it'll be too soon so warren and amy we don't know what the fuck like they just left and the general goes down to where like the military base is on the craterdale grounds and so whatever whatever giles and buffy are looking at the carnage that's going on up in craterdale and they're talking about how you know, Buffy's not, just because they're back in Sunnydale, this isn't the same old, we're going through the cemetery and taking out vampires. And Giles has this moment where he tells Buffy, like, he's so proud of her, and she's become something more than he could ever have hoped for or imagined for her. Like, she's really a wonderful expression of this perfect person. Yeah, Buffy feels like shit about herself right now, but... Giles is really proud of her and happy for her, and he's happy that she has become this amazing woman that she is. And she says, you know, this, these powers, Giles, they're, it's, it's crazy. And he says, no, it's not about these powers. It's about how you have come. He says, I can't even keep up with you in this fight, but I can still do some good. So I'm going to leave you, but I'll see you when all of this is over. And it's great to have this moment between Buffy and Giles because... We really just haven't had a whole lot of Buffy and Giles throughout season eight. And when we stop and have these little moments between the two of them, it just, it brings you right home, which is what this is all about. Like, we're back in Sunnydale. We're all back home. And yeah. So Giles leaves and Buffy and Spike take on, like, a mass army. So back up top on Craterdale, uh, Xander has taken Dawn to get some medical attention from the military barracks up there. And basically, we have this moment where he encounters the general who was hanging out with Warren and Amy. And yeah, the general says, yeah, they weren't part of my plan. I don't like them. I don't need them. They're gone. I don't really care what they did. And so the general is talking to Xander and he says, this girl's not a slayer. You're not a super being. Uh, You know, I hear there's a way that we can just stop all of this. We can just destroy the seed of wonder. And Xander says, no, we can't just let that happen. And the general basically says, look around you, like, we, okay, so we've already seen Buffy, and Twilight, the monster, had said, you know, Buffy left Twilight because it had no conflict in it. And here, the general is saying, you know, we could just destroy the Seed of Wonder and this whole fight would be over, but they want to protect it because they're addicted to all of this carnage, they're addicted to this fight, and no matter what's at stake even when the slayer's little sister is about to die she's not willing to you know stop this fight once and for all they can't help but keep fighting which is pretty fucking true like it's 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 kind of painted in this dark way but it's it's really true like we don't want to stop fighting we don't want for buffy to live in an idyllic twilight reality But anyway, so down at the Seed of Wonder, Willow is trying to tap into the Seed's powers, and she is basically appealing to the Seed, trying to let it allow for the Master to come out and fight, rather than just being tied to the Seed. So Buffy and Spike are taking out this army of, um, you know, Twilight demons that are coming to try and get the Seed, and then this enormous demon comes up and Spike says, well, what the fuck are we supposed to do with this? And then Angel shows up, he bursts through the demon, he rips it in half and it's like, oh, thank God, Angel's here. Well then, not so much because Angel just wails on Buffy. He fucking just smacks her one good one and Spike says, oh shit, it's Angelus and Buffy says, no. And then Angel says, no, I'm Twilight. 